What's up guys and welcome to a new meshing tutorial. Today we're going to do the meshing of this helmet padding as you can see here. This is the STL file but we are going to use the STP file because if we imported this STL file then it will be automatically meshed and we don't want that. These two files can be found online and I will put the link to them. And you can get them if you want to follow this tutorial. So you can go to your LS prepost and then go to file and then import and then STP file. We have the padding here and then we open. Unit is MM, that's fine and OK. Right, now you can see all these uh, planes. We don't need them so it's better to delete them. So I can go to geometry and then manage. Then I select the faces that I want to delete. So select all of them. And I think that's all. Then you delete. Okay, we have two more. This one and this one. Delete. Okay, that's good. Now we have these lines. We don't want them. So we want to delete all these edges and vertices. So select all of them and then delete. All right, now everything looks nice. So we are ready for the meshing. So go to mesh, auto measure, and then the size, I just put it five. And then I select the faces that I want to mesh. I want to mesh the inside faces. So I want to mesh one by one. Mesh, select and mesh, accept, select and mesh, accept, select, mesh and accept. Of course, you can select them all and then mesh in one go and they will be in one part. But I made it different part in purpose and you will see why. Alright, the next thing I want to do is go to element tools and then go to normals. I want to check the normals of these guys. Alright, the geometry, I don't need it for now. So I hide it, the shape group. I hide them all. Now we have the things that we just mesh. So now we show the normal by part. Click on all the things. Okay. Now you see we have these two portions. The normal are going inside and we don't want that. So reverse and by part and then click this one and this one. And then that's done. Clear. Okay, this is the reason why I made it different parts. So it will be easier for me to change the normal if I needed to do that. So now I can combine them in one part using the move copy. So I put part ID number one and then select by parts and select all the guys. And then apply and then done. Now they are one part. Next, I go to here. I show the edges. You can see we have this lines meaning we have edges here by edges i mean the parts are not connected so let's say i show the mesh again you can see here the mesh is not aligned so i want to fix them together so i go to duplicate nodes and then show duplicate nodes we have only these nodes okay it doesn't run this side we don't have anything highlighted here so it means we need to increase the tolerance. So put 0 0.5, then show again. Okay, now it's better. Maybe I increase it, make it one, clear, and then show again. Almost there, maybe 1.5, clear, and then show again. Okay, we have few nodes which are not merged yet. So I go to merge duplicate nodes and then accept. You see here we have a line. Let me show the edge. We have a line here and we have a line here. Meaning in these two portions, the mesh is still not connected. So what we can do, I can increase the tolerance and then show duplicate nodes. Let's say five here. This is too much, right? So maybe should be only two. Clear, show. Two is not big enough. Maybe I can make it three. Let's see what happens. Okay, three is okay but other nodes are highlighted as well so i need to go to here select nodes 
and then apply by area here and this one i just leave it because i want to use another method to fix this side so merge duplicate nodes now if i click here it will merge only the one that i highlighted these two here they will not be merged so i go to here and merge duplicate nodes and then accept now you can see they are fixed okay i left this side because i want to do it manually to do it manually you go to node editing and then replace then you click on the nodes one by one like this like this okay now we have this guy here might be a bit problematic so we need to delete these elements and then make a replacement to them so i delete here and then i create i want here to be one because this is part number one then i have one two three four set and then one two three then accept okay now you see this side is fixed and everything is nice on this left side on the right side here we have the same problem here so i need to delete and then i will create again so one two three accept then i want four nodes this time one two three four then accept okay everything is attached so the next step i need to recheck the normal again and you can see the normal of the elements that i made are flipped so i need to reverse them so reverse one two and then reverse here one two okay so everything is pointing outside good why i need the normals to be pointing outside because it's important for the next step and the next step is the step of creating the solid elements so i want element generation solid and then we have shell here so it'll be shell offset then click my part here click this guy and let's say the thickness i will put five in segment i put one create now you see we have the solid elements now if i show the geometry you will see it's not matching with the outside surface of the helmet padding but it's okay for now we're gonna fix that in the next two steps but now i have this guy and i just click on accept now i will make another one click by part and this time i put how many elements i want through the thickness of the padding let's say this is my padding i want uh, like five elements through the thickness five solid elements so i put here five and then i create again all right now i have here i have one so one shell element and two solid okay solid number seven and solid number eight so now the next step i go to element tools and then the morphing tool and solid constraint and then select the constraining elements the constraining elements will be the solid that have only one tick one element through the thickness so click by part and it will be part number seven and then select node to be morph this is the solid part that has many elements through the thickness so this one will be number eight and then by part number eight and then enter and then constraint i can hide the constraint nodes for now because showing them might make things confusing the next step is the most crucial step which is the transform now i go to project project to surface and then select the nodes that i want to project now i will select the nodes of the part that has only one thickness and i will select the nodes that is on the outside surface only and select this one now these guys i will project them to the surfaces of the geometry the outer surfaces of the padding so after i select these nodes i go to select surface and now i show this guy and then i just select 
all the outside surfaces. Okay, that's done. Now I go to project and click on this guy. It will take some time. Just be patient. Okay, finally it's done. Make sure you click on accept because if you click on reject, then you have to do it again and wait another long time. Accept. Now if I hide my geometry, now you can see this is the mesh of the helmet. But as you can see, this is the part that has only one solid element through the thickness. But if I hide this one and I show this one, this is the one that has five elements through the thickness. The mesh is very nice now. So again, how I did that. First, I project the outer elements of this blue guy. But this blue guy is constraining the green guy because I used the morphing tool. So when the outer nodes of this blue guy was projected to follow their geometry, the green guy also will follow it. Okay. A question you might ask why I did not directly just use the transform tool on the green part. The answer is because if I use this transform tool on this green part, then the outer nodes only will be moved and the gap here will be very big. It will be like one, two, three, four elements, very packed. And then the outer elements will have a very big gap. Okay. So this one, I don't need it. I can delete it. What I need is here. So now I will use this tool again to make it even nicer. So you can see here it's not following. Okay. I mean the, the geometry is following in the outer surface, but in these segments and this down here, it's not following. So I need to use the project tool again. So I hide my shape first, the geometry. Then I go to select nodes, project to surface, click by elements, click here. Oh, this is too much. 10. Okay. Fine. Good. Good. All good. Now this is okay. This is okay. And I think that's all what we need. That's all the nodes that we need. Now select surfaces. I show the geometry from here and then I click on these guys. One, two, three, four. Make sure to select the right surfaces and then project. This will take time also, but it will take less time than the previous one. Okay. Now it's done. Accept. All right. Now if you hide this shape, you can see here, the shape here has become thinner. You can see here it become thinner and here also it become thinner. Okay, guys, that's all for this meshing tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, you can share it with your friends and see you next time. Bye bye.